Hi, welcome back. Doing a speedway. We're gonna change gears here. Um, we're looking at my wife's Mustang. It was uh, I found it, got it kind of cheap, but it was they'd sideswiped a pole on this side and took off the mirror and the door handle and this louver. And I come up with this purple and white because she hates white, but the car was white and I didn't want to change the whole color. And I give it to her for her birthday, I don't know, five, six years ago, something like that. But anyhow, we're using it. She hasn't got it out this year year yet. It's uh it's uh May 7th, I believe, today. Um yeah. Um I bought it, fixed the body, my buddy painted it for us. And she drives it in the summertime, just six cylinder. But that's not why we're here, either. Um, I haven't raced for a while. A couple of our racers dropped out. And so, anyhow, I started my new project, which I've had forever. I've had a 68 Pontiac Le Mans since I was 15 years old. Um, I drove the car. It was my first car. Let's see, for until I was like 22 approximately. So the car has been sitting for 33 years. My dad and I restored it. He taught me how to go through the whole motor. Uh, we tore everything apart except for the transmission and we had never pulled the frame out of the car and I'd always kind of wanted to do that, do a complete restore on it. But I drove it for what, seven years or something. And you know, I live in Ohio. Salt took a toll on it, but uh, I got my old photo album out. This white one here, that was the car that I have now. Um, I, that's kind of a you know, good picture taken back in the day. But that's what the front end, that's, that's what it looked like. It was kind of, had no front end on it. Um, and it was sitting on blocks in a field beside an old body shop, but it was over in the field. It had a burlap sack hanging out of the window. I said for sale on the burlap sack. Well, the guy also owned another one, which was this blue one. And you can see I already took the trunk lid off and put it on the white one. Used parts off of it to build the white one. And my dad did all the body work and welded the quarter panels in, and we had never touched the floor in it. It was solid. Um, and that's it. When I was like 17 or something, I washed that thing every week. Um... Like I said, I drove it year-round. Had a 350 out of a 68 Firebird in it, we found. That was right after it was painted and before I had the bumpers on it. And, you know, there's another picture of it later on. Uh, so, anyhow, it's been sitting for 33 years on this boat trailer. I got the frame out from underneath it. I took it down to some Amish down here in Fredericksburg in Ohio, because I live in Ohio. And they sandblasted the frame, and they said they powder-coated it. Uh, I think they painted it, and because I can scrape it off pretty easy. But I don't know. Uh, it, lo it looks great. Um, so it was 300 bucks, But, you know, it was kind of rough. And you know, as you can see, like I said, the car has been setting for about 33 years. So she's seen some weather. But, you know, it's still solid. There's some places when my dad did it, he welded little patch panels in and made these quarter panels back to original with piece by piece, like little little three, six-inch pieces. <clears throat> but the doors haven't been touched, really. The rockers, they weren't touched before. But you can see they're a little bad now. Um, underneath, it's not terrible. I am going to have to replace some of these places, but the floor overall is still really solid. Um, and it's amazing, the doors on this thing, they just open and close like it's brand new. Yeah, it's been sitting for 33 years. Still has the original interior in it. Smells like mouse piss now. But... Um, doesn't look so great. My dad chose the color. It was a 
poly emerald green off of a 77 Ford Mustang. And there's a wiring harness. And you can see how many miles. 202, or what is that? 20,207. So, yeah, check this out. Solid. She was a great car. Loved it. Had a lot of fun in it. But always wanted it to be super nice. Now, you're probably wondering where the rest of it is. Uh, it's, it's everywhere. Um, there's the block. Actually, I got a 455 that I'm going to put in it this time. That's a 455. That's out of a Catalina or something. I forget. Or a Bonneville. I don't remember. There's the inner fenders. And here's the front fenders. Front bumper. I got a couple extra bumpers. A couple extra this and that. Um, that's not the drive shaft. That's an extra one. Cross member core support. Core support's in there somewhere. Um, yeah, there's that stuff. And, you know, like I said, we've already started on it. And we're going to show you that here in just a second. But that's already down at the house. We're like up in, we're up in my barn. I uh, live on top of a hill. I live on the side of the hill. The barn's almost on top of the hill. Um, so we're going to pause you for a second and we'll come back on and then down at the house. Uh, oh, yeah, here, we'll just show you. You walk out of the barn up here. Yep. We'll be back in just a minute. All right, we're down here at the house. This is my little HHR. It's what I drive to work. It's my beater car. Uh, but here's how far we are so far. Um, the green is the color the car is going to be, but there's the coil springs, and I've already pressed the bushings back into the control arms. Um, of course, you've seen what the undercarriage of the car looked like. The frame and rear end and everything looked the same. It was just as bad. I've spent hours sandblasting this rear end, and like I said, the Amish did the frame, and I did the rear end, all the control arms, the springs. Um, the brake drums, uh, here's the front control arms, steering, um, I bought the Synergy suspension kit for this thing, which is these red bushings, um, which I pressed the, pressed the metal piece in, I just gotta grease these up and shove them in there, and then I can bolt the rear end back up into the car, but, you know, I thought, you know, I should document this or video it or something i thought what well, what the hell i'll put it on my ho slot card page whatever you know but this is how far i am and i hope to get the rear end in it today this weekend something and like i said i bought this synergy suspension kit and there's the rest of it in there there's all new tie rods um using royal purple to put in the rear end um Everything's marked left and right brake pads. Uh, I painted the shocks. They're all red. Uh, emergency brake cables. Um, all the parts in here, you know, new ball joints, everything. Cross member brackets for these Pontiacs and GTOs and stuff had a rubber mount on the cross member. Um, new chrome rear end cover, which I just put a. The rear end cover on, I put one quart of pur pur royal purple rear end grease in it. Um, and I had to put a new front seal in it. It would have been leaking a little bit. But, yep, that's how far we are. Uh, I thought of rim about doing this when I got to here. I was out there, I sand these back out before I press this bushing back in there. Yeah, these press back in there. And I made these cover these with tape, which is still messes up my paint, but keeps me from crushing my. I guess this ain't the right one for this. I'm about dropped it. I guess I should get my little tripod. Anyhow, yeah, I press them bushings in with just this little wheel bearing press. 
that I bought. So, uh, there's some more green stuff out in the barn out there. There's uh, the drive shaft's green. I think I'm going to paint the gas tank green to make, make match the car. Uh, who knows how long it'll last, but, you know, the car will probably never see rain. It'll probably never see dust and dirt. It'll be driven on nice days to church. <laughs> Grocery getter. So, that's my next project. Um, anybody has any comments or suggestions? Or, hey, if you live close to Belleville, Ohio, and you're a good body man, I'm not. And be happy to talk with you or whatever. I've done the work before. As you can see, I did my wife's Mustang, and I did really good with that. I've done some things. My dad did this stuff all the time. I was always the helper. But here we go. Let's see how this Pontiac turns out. Hopefully she's a beast. Thanks for watching.